Good morning. I'm going to talk about the Buddha Dharma study program. When we talk about reading texts, it's misleading because we think we're reading a college text. And they're usually presented that way in America because that's how um, generally we've become familiar with these texts. Uh, college educated translators, Buddhologists have translated them and we're reading them like we're doing uh, a course uh, in college, but uh, that's not the traditional way. The traditional way is um, we believe we're meeting a person, we're meeting the masters through uh, reading their words. We're meeting the Dharma also. So we're meeting both the personal, uh, the personal aspect of uh, the teacher and their Dharma. So when we're reading, studying, we should be thinking that uh, we're talking or listening to Nagarjuna or Sangha or Vasubandhu or Chandakirti and uh, Shantideva and so forth. So we shouldn't be thinking that we're um, uh, studying uh, ideas, particularly. We should be thinking that we're meeting someone and we're meeting their presentation of Dharma. Um, it's been put together, but in a very concise way. Um, but uh, the texts are basically uh, going to be notes or transcriptions or maybe direct writing by teachers, but it's going to be what they're teaching anyway to students just hanging around um, person to person and in lectures and so forth. And it's how they live their life. Um, it's definitely recorded that Shanti Deva's Bodhichara Vitara, entering the path of the Bodhisattvas or the Bodhisattva way, uh, was uh, given as a lecture and uh, uh, people wrote it down because uh, they're different versions. Uh, so uh, it's seen as a, uh, like a direct transmission. So we don't want to approach them particularly as uh, just raw ideas that are floating around there, we're thinking that we're actually meeting uh, the teacher and uh, because of that, we're meeting the Dharma. So this is the correct lineage way. That's why what we're doing is not a college course uh, for non-Buddhists. This is actually um, part of a lineage transmission because everyone's who's in the Buddha Dharma study course is taking refuge in Bodhisattva vows and wants to be a Buddha. So uh, it's very different. There, therefore, when we're writing an essay or feedback or making our own presentation, we should understand it's personal also that we're not just presenting ideas in a college context or like that or getting the right answer like that, but we're presenting ourselves. We're presenting our um, insights and experience and possible realizations um, in print, but that actually, uh, just like all the texts, they're transcriptions of spoken words. So uh, that's the most important thing is, uh, is it's not a dry intellectual experience. It's, uh, you know, someone's uh, poems and someone's realizations and someone's insights that were becoming uh, directly in contact with. That's why um, uh, traditionally, which we try to follow at Dunga Dargay Lines, or you don't put text on the ground um, because it'd be like you're stepping on the person, or you don't step over a dead person, you know, you don't step over the text, or you know, you're, you're respectful of the text because it represents a person's words, represents the person, represents their realization, like that. So, um, uh, I think it's good for me to do like short um, talks, uh, some short pith instructions instead of a college lecture uh, so that you know it sinks in. So uh, maybe I'll have time uh, several times a week to talk on particular uh, topics. So I'm not giving a college lecture like, okay, we're going to go over this, we're going to go over that, we're going to go over that. I want people first to get the spirit of it. So specifically with uh, 
the Mahayana Sutra Lamkara, the ornament of the Mahayana Sutras, or as Thurman translates it, uh, the universal discourse literature. Um, it's an enthusiastic uh, presentation of uh, the Bodhisattva path. Uh, it's meant to inspire people that already are doing the training, already uh, are aspiring to be Bodhisattvas. And it's also um, uh, somewhat of a debate or somewhat of an establishment of how Bodhisattvas are different than Shravakas. Shravakas is a term used for um, people that are just doing individual liberation. In other words, they're just interested in their own uh, peace and other suffering, even though they're kind, does not move them in the same way that it moves the Bodhisattva. Bodhisattvas are moved by other suffering and their own to the extent that they must uh, have the highest realization in order to benefit beings, that they must become a Buddha. That That's, that's the only possible uh, outcome to be of the greatest benefit to others. So basically Bodhisattvas can't stand it that people are suffering. They're not they're not just being kind or they're not wringing their hands. They've decided they're going to do something and uh, the doing something requires them to be professional. So uh, the Bodhisattvas uh, have a view, they have a meditation, they have conduct, and they have eventual fruition. So uh, the Mahayana Sutra Mukara, as it said in Sanskrit, is uh, goes over that in detail of, of what a Bodhisattva does, what a Bodhisattva looks like, and exhorts us to be Bodhisattvas and um, not to become discouraged and not to kind of fall back into being uh, shravakas, or uh, what technically, literally means is listeners. So uh, here Maitreya, um, Buddha through uh, Asanga is saying, uh, don't, don't be um, an observer. Don't be on the sidelines. Uh, don't um, get involved. Um, you know, get Get into the mud, get your feet wet, um, participate. Uh, so that's why, um, particularly in um, uh, Mahayana and Vajrayana um, practices and uh, meditations, um, we're not stopping at mere observation of the mind or mere observation of dharmas as uh, people are in an Abhidharma approach. Uh, we're participating and we want to become mind. We want to become uh, luminous and aware. So we're not watching things. We're not watchers. Uh, we want to be in the middle. So uh, that's all for now. Let's um, uh, stop here and uh, hope you uh, continue to enjoy Buddha Dharma study program. Thank you. Om Mahong.